All right, this looks like it's the last hurrah, everybody. We're heading into whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, this looks great. Kuja! Nice of you to come. I'm surprised you beat the four chaoses that I created from the crystal's memory. Ah, the crystal's memory. So what he's saying is this crystal is the same crystal from Final Fantasy 1. Because if it has a memory, it's remembering the bosses from Final Fantasy 1. See that? But, you're too late. Take a good look. Isn't it beautiful? It's the original crystal. Uh, excuse me. It's the original crystal. This is where it all began. So essentially what they're saying in the plot of this game is that all the, the old school Final Fantasy games are tied together because the crystals apparently exist in all the universes and are the ongoing thing. See what I mean? I understand what he's saying here. <clears throat> the birthplace of all things. Once I destroy it, everything will be gone. Gaia, Terra, the universe, and everything. Your lives and memories too, of course. Ha 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 Shut up. <clears throat> the only thing that's gonna be gone is you. I'll take you out right now. Huh, you honestly think you can beat me? Even if you do, Guy's already doomed. Its assimilation by Terra has begun, and the Aoife tree will incite a cataclysmic destruction of Gaia. It's all over for you and your friends. See, I win either way. It doesn't matter. Even if Gaia is assimilated, the planet will remain, and we'll start over to make a new home. Kuja, you're nothing but a coward. If you're gonna die, leave us out of it. <clears throat> Why should the world exist without me? That wouldn't be fair. <laughs> Tripe just to me $4.20, 420. Oh boy. Is Final Fantasy IX is one of the best games ever. Glad you picked it for your stream. Thank you very much, Chipe. It's time to end the plot line now, and then I guess we got one more thing to do, but let's do this right now. <clears throat> if I die, we all die. Zidane, you will be my first sacrifice. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's some pants, pants labyrinth shit. What is that supposed to be? Steal! Steal from it. What the fuck used me here? That's supposed to do that. Killed two people! You fucking piece of shit! You asshole! See if you can see if you can recognize this boss's reference because it was lost in translation. Death guys? This is Death Gaze. This is Death Gaze from Final Fantasy VI. This is the flying enemy that you encounter on the airship. It looks exactly like it. Right, of course I know my Final Fantasy VI. It's the one I've played more than anything. Oh great, they killed her. He killed her again. Piece of shit. Come on, man. Are you going to use the item? Thank you. Yeah, he's using the exact same attacks too. He is meteor and the death claw or whatever he's using. That was the same attack that he used in that game.
Give me with the spin of Rooney. Hello, uh, a culture rules. The stream is going well. Thank you. Sure says meteor damage is random, so you got fucked. Oh yeah? It's random damage in this game. Yeah, that's exactly what happened in Final Fantasy VI. When you got him down to low health, he would react differently, so you would know he was almost dead. Because in Final Fantasy VI, this was a gimmick. In the second part of the game, when you flew on the airship, you'd randomly encounter him in the air out of nowhere and have a boss fight you didn't expect. And he would run away repeatedly, and then he would recharge his health during running away. So what you would want to do is try to kill him quickly, as quickly as possible. And he had an indication when he was almost dead. We got him. Fred Flintstone cheered and said, Fact side Phil. How did they beat death guys? I meant to say death gays. In reality, if you just leveled well, it wasn't that big of a deal in Final Fantasy VI. He was just an optional boss. Adios, amigo. Okay. Well, I can heal up. They give me an opportunity to heal up. That's good. Should be good enough. Just, uh... Some more potions. Here we go. Here we go. I can't believe you beat death guys. Well, my time is almost up. Time to die, everyone. Here we go. Remember I was going to steal, now is the time. That drum beat, son. Oh, yeah! Whoa! Fire! Fight the Kuja, motherfucker! Ow! Nights of the round. Okay. <laughs> nice of the round, basically. I think it's exactly the same. It's nice of the round. Oh, great. Now he casts Reflect on himself. So now Flare's not going to hit. Which means Vivi's going to get fucked. No, someone's going to get fucked right now with Flare. Someone's getting fucked. Who? I don't know. Oh, she is. She's dead. She's gonna die. 
Yup. Fucked with flare. Can't do it yet. Flare Star, that's a that's a boss ability for Final Fantasy. Hopefully it doesn't kill everybody. Wasn't this a Final Fantasy 4 Flare Star? I think so. Fire! Will he use the item? No! He didn't use it. We all just stood there. Okay. Nothing I could do. He stood there. He didn't use the fucking item. Come on! Again? How is this fucking fair? Twice? Use the elixir. Oh my god, why are they so fucking slow in this fucking game? Seriously, use the fucking elixir, you stupid piece of fucking shit. They're so fucking slow. <laughs> He's not gonna attack again. Stupid. Well, the, the reflect roar out. Uh. He's gonna use an ether right now. Is he gonna kill Dagger again? Okay, good. Oh, she's dead now. Yeah, Flare Star is gonna kill her. It's pretty fucking stupid. He just used to get used it over and over and over. Dumb. And my fucking guys would just use their fucking turns instead of standing like dumbasses. Duh! I go use this elixir. What do I do with it? Duh! Standing around. He didn't use it. I'm waiting. Use it. Use the use the fucking phoenix down. Use it. He's not using it. Use the fucking phoenix down. Oh my god! What the fuck? Is this a joke? He still didn't use it. Use the phoenix fucking down! Fucking shit, dude! The turns take way too fucking long in this game. It's just ridiculously out of control. Oh my god!
No, wait. Gotta wait for the Phoenix now. Wait. 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 Jesus Christ. I've never played an RPG where it took this fucking long to use an item. A regular item. Never in my life. Oh, he's not gonna attack again. Fuck shit, dude. What the hell? It's not even the boss that's challenging. It's the fucking... This, the way that the, the combat works in this game is so frustrating. You can't even fucking revive anybody. Oh, we got him. That's it. I'm gonna die anyway. I won't have to be... I'm not gonna be free anymore, but I'm not gonna die alone. You're all coming with me. Ultima. The ultimate magic spell in Final Fantasy. Ouch. <laughs> oh. What happened to the crystal? Where is this? We stand before the final dimension and I am the darkness of eternity. Who are you? All life bears death from birth. Life fears death but lives only to die. It starts with anxiety. Anxiety becomes fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. They copied the fucking Star Wars line? Dude, this is fucking the dark side line from Yoda. They actually copied it word for word. Are you kidding me? Why the hell did they do that? <sighs> the only cure for this fear is total destruction. Kuja was a victim of his own fear, including he would only save himself by destroying the origin of all things, the crystal. What the heck are you talking about? Why are you telling me all this? Now the theory is undeniable. Who just action proves it? All things live to perish. At last, life has uncovered this truth. Now it is time to end this world. What do you mean by that? I exist for one purpose. To return everything back to the zero world where there is no life and no crystal to give life. In a world of nothing, fear does not exist. This is the world that all life desires. Who the hell do you think you are? You're not ending anything, not as long as we have the will to live. Foolish creature. Your fears have already deluded you. One day you'll choose destruction over existence as Kuja did. When he sought to destroy the crystal, the purpose of life ended. Now come, enter the zero world that you desire. No! We'll destroy you and prove you wrong. And through our memories, future generations will see that we can overcome any fear. Fuck you! We can't give up now. We have to fight together. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. Our memories will live on inside others. So even if we are born to die, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. Oh, uh, we all have one HP, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go with the same party, I guess. Come back after you kill bad guy. I prepare a big meal for everyone. What? Well, thank you, Akio Artorias, for 100 a cheer. Huh? What happened? Don't screw up. So let me guess, the four, four people die in order to sacrifice their lives to revive the other four. Everything in your hands. 
Nah, the four of them were sacrificable anyway. Fuck them. We didn't need them. They were just filler characters anyway, let's face it. Amaret and Kina don't even have real stories. Aiko, who cares about her? And Freya, fuck that. Fuck them all. Alright, oh, well, they actually give you a final chance to equip stuff if you want. Yeah, look at that. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna face, so... I guess we're just gonna go with this. We're gonna roll with this. I mean, you, you think for the last fight I should stop uh, stealing, or should I keep stealing? Can I steal more items? It'd be great. Can I steal more items? Be sure to equip auto potion, auto regen. Auto regen? Uh, I already have equipped on everyone who has it, I think. Sadly, I don't have it on everyone. Maybe I should do HP plus 20%. I don't think I need long reach. I think HP plus 20% is probably more important here. Uh, I don't need double killer, under killer. I don't think I care about steel gill at this point. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't care about level up. It's the final boss, right? Counter is probably important. Clear headed. That's when you don't get uh, confused, right? Don't even have it. Alright, clear head so you don't get confused, I guess. I don't know if he poisons. Right? Auto haste, probably pretty important for the final fight. I don't know about auto flu, probably not. Auto life? Huh. Probably it. Raises counteractivation rate. There you go. Now, put him back in the front row. Okay. She's gonna want auto haste, I think. Everyone's gonna want auto haste and auto regen. So there you go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. She definitely needs. Auto Everyone needs auto regen. I'm thinking. Oh uh, fuck! If she's gonna attack, if she's gonna use the the summon for damage. She needs boost? Oh, fuck it. I guess go back to auto haste. Probably better for this. I guess give her auto potion. I'll try that. I don't know. He's got auto regen, but he doesn't have auto haste. Malik Elemental Null. Doesn't need this or this. I guess to do auto haste, and I got five left. I can't even do MP plus 20%. Sucks. I guess clear headed? No, auto potion. Alright. Don't bother with status effects. The final boss does not have any. Oh, yeah. So forget loudmouth then? Okay. Can't really do anything else that's gonna help anyway. That I can see. I'm not gonna care about stealing. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using any of the stealing. So, auto potion, I guess? Uh, maybe high tide? Maybe for one fight, high tide might actually come in handy. Maybe. What do you guys think? Auto life or high tide? MP attack? Why would that help? So now people are saying, oh no, the party does get afflicted by status ailments. What the fuck, man? Well, I'll put clear headed back on then. There, fuck it.
So auto haste, auto regen, the HP buffs. Don't need level up and don't need bright eyes. Clear headed. So no one can now no one can be confused. <laughs> All right. For him, maybe auto potion? Nah. None of this is gonna. But then again, if he if he can't see, he probably can't hit with shock. So, all right, all right, we'll go with this. We'll roll with this. Let's see how this goes. Come too far to loosen out. Let's let's just wrap this up and go home, all of us. Ooh, excuse me. Regal suggests the official guidebook suggests the final boss is like Zero Mist from Final Fantasy IV, incarnation of Kuja's fear of death, like Zemus's hatred. Gotcha. Ooh, that stupid thing. <laughs> That's the final boss. Cast Meteor. Oh, instantly kills Vivi. Amazing. Stupid game. First fucking turn. We still haven't attacked yet. We haven't even gotten anyone to do anything yet. No one's been able to do anything. What the fuck? Magic defense. Not that we've hit it with any magic yet. Grand Cross. Many Final Fantasy enemies have had this before. Really elaborate animation. And it is here too. Look at this. Yeah. Have to protect on himself. I 
the fuck Neutron Ring is. What is this? Okay. Great. Great, he's a trance. Overly emotional? We both tranced. Oh shit. I don't even know what she gets when she trances. on her, she didn't even need it. He needed it more than her. Fuck this. Then with Grand Lethal while you can, while we're still alive. <laughs> Fuck it, hit him with giant damage attacks and we will beat him. Eternal Darkness. We're fucked. This is gonna kill our whole party. It looks the, the animations are bridged for him. Wait, what happened? I don't even know what happened. She used it? I don't know why she did that. I don't understand. He's curing himself. Oh, that's Dagger's move. Trance state has automatic idolins. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, she's out of her trance state now. Missed. All right, he got three grand lethals in, dude. Three. That was a pretty sick trance. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He's done, we won. Done. Three grand lethals did him in. What a trance. Why defy your fate? Yep, it's over. Is the will to live that powerful? Done. Got vaporized, bitch. This is not the end. 
Actually, it looks like the end of me, asshole. I am a turtle. <laughs> as long as there's life and death. Daryl Robinson. No, excuse me. Daryl Robinson just to be $20. Said, good game, Phil. Thank you, Daryl Robinson. That congratulatory uh, $20 tip. That was the final boss, I guess. Whoa, so the tree was actually a monster all along. Look at it. It's writhing. Are you alright? Yeah, but look what's happening. So what Kuzma said was true. The Ifa tree is beginning to... It's violent reaction. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I thought anyone could have survived that explosion. No! Captain! They're still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. <laughs> Use your eyes, stupid. Oh wait, you only have one. You have no depth perception. Maybe that's why you couldn't see them. Oh! <laughs> the Hildegard is probably closer. Wow. You, the tall one. Sir, Hagen Pluto Knight the Eighth, ma'am. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Yes, sir, ma'am, sir. Please be alive. Sorry, we're receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Push it up on the main line. This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix. Who are you? My name is Mikoto. Everyone is alive, you are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear him. Who? Prepare to land immediately! <laughs> it is I, Ansem? No, that didn't come till later. <laughs> That's the Hildegard 3. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. <laughs> Farewell, Zidane. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. I have to tell Garland to get the fuck out of my mind. He's really annoying. He's still alive. He can't be. Zane, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Dagger. What? What do you mean by that? <clears throat> Who's just still alive? I just can't leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because, because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wreaked havoc in Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy, but I know deep down inside I have to do this. You're not crazy, Zidane, but you go help Kuja, not good idea. It's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe, but we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. <clears throat> For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it, just like Vivi, when he confronted his fears about, uh, about... His fears to find out about himself. Excuse me. That was a big decision for Vivi. I don't know about that. I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. You definitely taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. Wait a minute! They all sacrificed their lives so that the other four could live. How are they all alive now? I just realized it's bullshit. They retconned the whole thing. The sacrifice is meaningless if it wasn't really a sacrifice. What a bunch of dog shit. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in times of need, so I shall accompany you as well. Wait a minute. 
Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermesia and Alexandria. It's cold in here now. I forgot the air conditioning. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't. I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. Huh? You're a real simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out here? Get on board right now. Come on, let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Zanana, I love you. You better come back. Zanana, I need to eat more different food. I still hungry. You need to come back. Make me more, take me more places. Show me more food. Very important. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed the day. Until we meet again. Zanane, you taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. <laughs> Zanane. Princess, we must go. Dagger, I mean your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. We faced many hardships too, but I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you, I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zidane. Promise me one thing. Please come back. No. It's actually funny because we at first we thought the Aoife tree was like this nice thing that brought life and it had the mist coming out of it. It was mystical. Then you find out it's actually a tool of like evil to link two worlds together when Terra really has no real claim on this world at all. It's actually a bad thing. <laughs> Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time? Forget about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are, asshole. I don't understand you. How about this? Do you understand this? Okay, here goes nothing. Wow, look at those totally integrated cutscene and uh, graphics. You totally, totally can't tell that they don't belong together. Oh my god, look at this terrible CG. <laughs> Dude, this looks so bad. Dude, that's pretty funny. He's so out of place. Oh my god. <sighs> Riding the vines. <laughs> he thinks he's Son Goku. La 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 Memories of life Now actually the theme song makes sense Memories of life You had memories from all the lives of everyone on Gaia It makes sense The, the theme song actually makes sense at the end of the game <laughs> There he is And that was the moment when I realized I had fucked up Swan dove. Dude, that was great. <laughs> wow. Whew, still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I 
Hey, are you all right? Jane, <laughs> my Colin. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah. I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, Will. It's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all that I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? What? When he did? What? No, he didn't. After you guys beat me, I had nothing left. Nothing more to lose. Then I finally realized what it means to live. Oh my god, so cheesy. I guess I was too late. <clears throat> uh? Don't you go dying on me, alright? Huh? Fucked. <laughs> okay then. <laughs>